spring, a time of renewal and rebirth. The lakes in northern Canada are beginning to break. The temperatures are rising as the spring thaw sets in for the year. Below these half-frozen lakes, huge schools of smelt are beginning to gather by the mouths of rivers and streams flowing in and out of the lakes. In about a week's time, the smelt will run these rivers and streams, laying their eggs. In these rivers and streams, fish, like the lake trout, are beginning to gather, not just to lay their own eggs, but to eat the smelt when they run. These rivers that the smelt run are mostly gravel or sandy bottoms, the best conditions for their eggs. The smelt will wait for dark before swimming up the rivers. The smelt schools can swim in by the thousands, laying their eggs. Fishermen gather at these rivers by moonlight to fish for these minnows of the night. They use long, extendable nets to reach the smelt out of the river. Smelter mature at about two years of age, but some participate in the run at the age of one. During the smelt's breeding season, the males develop a granulation on their skin. This means their skin develops a bumpy, rough texture to help them maintain contact with the females while breeding. Two males will find and mate with a female. Eggs and sperm are released. Female smelt can release anywhere from 33 to 76,000 eggs. The eggs are attached to a thread along the gravel bottom and sway around in the current. In a few weeks, when the eggs hatch, the young smelt will be washed down river by the current. The smelt will usually run for about one or two weeks. After the smelt have completed laying their eggs, they will swim back to the lake, awaiting the next year's smelt run.